Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain training videos. In this video, I'm going to do a follow up of, it, of a video that I did a couple weeks ago for color coding areas in Trimble Business Center and exporting that as a VCL to the Earthworks uh, equipment so that they can see colored areas. For example, heavy duty, light duty, landscaping, concrete, all that. In Trimble Business Center, when you do a traditional takeoff report uh, on the top tab here, you would create your areas, your thicknesses. You go through Man MSI Manager, identify the site regions, and all those to actually color code the area, just like what this looks like here. I'm going to show you how to utilize that same procedure, but not in necessarily as much of an in-depth form or how to get the quantities or run a report at the end, just to identify the areas and color code it. So this is a project I've got here, which is a parking lot with a building, ponds, some storm drain. I'm going to go ahead and turn off some layers right here. The way that you get started in doing this is up here with your MSI manager in the takeoff tab. So if you go to your MSI manager, what we're going to do in here is we're going to just simply create some site improvement areas. So under the site improvements right here, I'm going to click on this, right click and start creating a couple areas. We'll do a landscaping And then under landscaping, I'm going to create another one that's also called landscaping. We'll leave this on area. We'll turn on the surface area in this. But right here, this is what I'm mo mostly going for is the colored area right here. So for my landscaping, I'm going to do a green. Now I'm just going to systematically keep under the site improvements, adding in areas like uh, building pads. So I'm doing the, the main one there, and then I need to actually right-click on it and add one underneath that. And I just name them the same each time. Same thing, leave it as an area, check these two, and then give it a color. Call that one red. And we'll just go through here and we'll add in all the different things that I need to be able to identify on the uh, job set here. I'll do an asphalt for heavy duty. We'll do this one as dark blue, but then I'm going to do another one that's asphalt light duty. We'll do that as a cayenne. So now that I'm done, I've got my asphalt heavy duty, light duty, berms, building pads, concrete, landscaping, ponds. You can add whatever you need in here for the different areas on your job site. Just make sure that they have the colors inside of there. Once you're done with that, you can close out. Now what we're going to do is categorize these areas using my layers. So once I hit categorize in here, what we're going to do is you can see there's a bunch of layers on the original tab right here. I'm going to pull over a bunch of these. Um, we, we'll leave some of these out. What I'm going to do is reassign these to a different layer. So I'm going to reassign these to my design. So under design, now what I'm going to do is check almost all of these because these are the ones that I want it to potentially identify areas. So I'm going to click all these and you'll notice down here at the bottom where it says contains potential site boundaries. I'm going to click that box, which will give a green checkbox next to all of those. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. So once I've done that, the next is to actually identify my closed boundary areas. And that's another thing is make sure that most of your areas that you're working, the lines connect or are within a tenth or so. You can see that all these lines um, have boundaries in that respect. What I'm going to do is now go to identify site regions. In here on the right side, I'm going to click design. And you can see that it's identifying a whole bunch of closed boundary areas. Now here's the opportunity to go ahead and click where I want these to go. Another thing is here for the layer, you can actually create a layer right here to contain these. So we could just name this uh, maybe color coded areas. Okay, once I've got that layer in there, we'll hit close. 
Now at the bottom down here, it says identify site regions. This is where you can drop this bar down and basically pick between the areas that you want to actually identify. So for example, my heavy duty area, my asphalt, I do that and then I can click in here and actually just click where I want to make those areas. So this is my heavy duty. Then what I'll do is over here for light duty, I'll put over here in my light duty area. I'm just basically identifying these areas. So now I can just systematically go through here and here's my berms. So you, each one of these little areas, I'm just gonna fill in. So we'll come back over here now and we'll do our building pad, which is just this one right here. Then I'll just systematically go down through here and here's all my concrete areas. So I've got concrete there, there, and just fill in any area that you want this to actually go out to the operators. You don't have to do curb and gutter. I'm just doing it because I got curb and gutter here and I've got waterways out in the middle here, just basically making it kind of fail safe for the operators to know exactly what areas are what. So we're just gonna fill in all those. Then we'll come over here and just go down and I'll hit my landscaping area. And this is all landscaping out around the outside. Got landscaping in these areas right here. I could have left those berms and ponds with the same landscaping, but it all kind of blends together. So that's, that's just why I did it just to show you, but you can do whatever you want inside of these and you can pick whatever color you want. So that's all you have to do right there is just remember hit design up here give it a layer identify the areas and and these show up because of what i did in the msi manager and because i picked a color for them i'm not in the normal takeoff each one of those improvement areas would have specific um color you know depths to them and all that this and that we can just basically use this function to color code it in so now that i've closed that you can see that the colors went away no big deal we just go up here to this validate areas and under design right here you go ahead and put this under the layer that you want it to be on which is my color coded areas and i'm going to hit apply And then once I turn that on, you can see that I've got all my color coded areas once I turn my layer back on. These little tiny uh, plus the symbols right here, you can see that they're on the color coded area right there. You can actually get rid of those if you want. They were just kind of identifying where these areas were, but it doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and actually delete those if you need to. So now that I've validated the areas, you can see that I've got all my colors in here. If you feel like you missed anything or needed to change anything, now's the chance to go in there and add those areas or take them out. So now if you want to give them the uh, the operator the opportunity to have a legend off to the side right here or just simply inside these different areas, basically name out, color or text out what they are, you can go to the drafting tab here and go to text. You can create a, a layer right here that I've color or called uh, the color to text. Uh, you can give it a size, whatever you need right here, and then down here just type in what you want. So maybe for the S fault. We'll do asphalt um, heavy duty. We'll call that the six inch. And you can place these wherever you need to. You can turn them sideways or you can just place them on here like this. Um, we'll do a light duty, which I'm gonna call out my uh, four inches. Place these wherever you want. You can do as many of them as you need to. Now you can see that they kind of have this blackout around the outside of them. If you click on those, you can actually right click and go to the properties and it's called the whiteout right here. So if you want, you can go ahead and turn those to whiteout. It may actually help when it shows up in the machine to actually change each one of these. Okay, so once you've got this ready, now what you need to do is you need to export this out as a VCL file. It does need to go that way. It can't be a DSC or an SVL, SVD flipped into what you need to for the Earthworks. It does need to be a VCL file. So at this point, once I feel like everything's good, I like everything I see here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a bunch of my layers over here. So once I've got the storm drain and the other layers that I want turned on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the, the surface that I have for this area right here. And we're gonna export this as a VCL file. So if you hit your export tab, go to construction and go to the very bottom of the construction one. There's a VCL project link exporter. 
And this is the one where you're going to have everything on you want and you're going to highlight it, including with the surface on. So we're going to go ahead and send this to uh, my thumb drive and we'll import it into Earthworks. Okay, now that we've brought it into our Trimble Earthworks, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And under my job setup, I've got the prod, the one right here that I exported out, which is this northeast corner finish grade color. Because it was a VCL, it's got a surface, which is my northeast finish design. We're going to leave that on that, and we're going to hit apply. And once we go ahead and log in, you'll instantly see all the different colors that we exported out of Business Center. So we'll zoom out a little bit here and show you. We'll change the view here to a one view. We'll put it on 3D. And now you can see as we zoom out, we've got all the different colors that we have. They're a little bit more shaded and a little bit lighter than what uh, you used to see inside Business Center. But it works in both 3D and it works in the plan view. So here we can roll around, we can zoom in on the pond here, we can roll it in 3D and actually see those defined colors. The orange for the berm, the brown for the ponds. And then we've got our defined de definition here between our light duty, our heavy duty, um, concrete, you name it. It's all right here. And that actual whiteout you can see for the call out what's going to help the operator. Now, since it is a VCL file, this storm drain, we can turn that stuff off in the layers also. I'll show you that in a second. But we're on 3D. Here's what it looks like in plan view. It does the exact same thing. So if we zoom out, you can see it in plan view. It's a little bit easier to kind of scroll around and look at it. So the operators are not stuck with this color. They can actually turn off the layers of the color and other layers because of the VCL file. The way you access that is in the bottom right here with your shovel with the gear. If you go down to the very bottom of that, there's a layers manager right here. And all these layers right here were the layers that I sent out with that file in Trimble Business Center. So we could turn off the striping, we can turn off the uh, colored text if we want to. So you can see as I scroll out and move over where the text was right here, you can turn that on and off, or you can just turn off the actual colored areas. So they're not necessarily stuck with that color. And the reason I say that is if any of your operators use mapping, which is this one on the right side right here, if you use mapping, the color coding and that's in there and the mapping are going to kind of fight each other. You're not going to be able to see your mapping. So if you do use that feature, just know the difference between that. But there it is. It can go on and off. If you wanted to turn that storm drain off, you can turn this back on and uh, turn off storm drain right there. Um, I'm just here to kind of show you this cool feature. I would have loved this when I was an operator to know the different areas. I think there's a lot of uh, operators out there that are going to really enjoy this opportunity to see the difference in these areas and have the that, that lighting there. The other thing you can do to pop these colors out is two different options. One being dark background. So in your tablet with the gear to the right here, you have the ability to go to this dark and uh, this dark theme and dark background. So you can turn that on, which is one going to pop those colors out quite a bit. The other thing you can do is in the top right here with this layers manager, it looks like a stack of papers. If you go to overlay is right here and come down here to surface plan, uh, plan and 3D view, you can see to the left side here, if I turn that on and off, it's not technically getting rid of the surface. The machine still runs on a cut fill, but it actually makes it to where that sandy background that's originally there is gone. So this really, really helps pop out the different colors. They're a lot more defined, a lot darker. Um, this is the way that I would run it if I was out there in the field. So hopefully this video from Site Tech Intermountain helps on how to color code your areas for Earthworks in a VCL file. And to do it very quickly just using closed boundaries in your MSI manager, categorize, identify site regions, validate areas, create text, etc., etc. The other way, if you watch my other video, is to actually draw in the polygon lines. So. Thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain. My name is Jeff Larson, and I look forward to having you here for other videos in the future.